Yo, yo, welcome to lesson 51. Today, we're going to learn how to deploy our app so that we can share it with the world. But before we get started, there are some things that we need to fix. Open your app and right click inspect element and go to the console tab. So the first warning that we have is invalid DOM property class the Jameen class name. So class is a keyword in JavaScript and that's why in React, we should use class name instead. So let's go to the code. And in here, anywhere you see class, just replace it with class name. And once you're done, that warning should disappear. Now for the next warning, it says each child in the list should have a unique key prop. So in our code, we took the Pokemon list and we did dot map to create a card for each specific Pokemon. So in React, whenever we create a list of items, we want to give it a key property. So that way React can tell which item was changed, removed, or inserted, ultimately allowing for faster rendering. So in our case, we're creating a card for each Pokemon and each Pokemon is uniquely identified by the ID. So here we can pass the ID for the key and now hit save. Awesome. Now our console looks great. There's no more warnings. Nice. Now head on over to Versal.com and Versal is the best place to deploy any front end app. They basically built Next.js with Google and Facebook. And I definitely love this site because it makes everything super easy. So first click sign up and here you want to continue with your GitHub account. So click that and here, just scroll down and click authorize Versal. And now once you're done, you want to import your Git repository. So now click this and click add GitHub account. And now you just want to give Versal access to your GitHub account. So click install. And now it should have access to your GitHub repositories, but I just created a new account, which basically has nothing inside it. So now all you have to do is go to github.com and now let's create a new repository. And now let's call this Pokedex app and make it public and click create repository. And now click uploading an existing file. And now go to the folder where your app exists. And I'll copy every single thing inside the folder except for the node modules. So drag and drop. And don't forget this file as well. And now scroll to the bottom and click commit changes. Cool. Now we have a repository for our Pokedex app. So now I'll go back to Versal. And here you'll see Pokedex app, which is the app we just created. And now click import. So now on this page, you can change the project name if you want. If not, then just click deploy. Now give it a few seconds. It's just deploying our application. And now once you're done, click go to dashboard. And here you'll see domains. So just click this and just like that, your app is live. And here you get a link that you can share with your friends. And the best part is you can make changes to the code and Versa will deploy your new changes automatically. So go back to GitHub and let's go to pages and let's go to index.js and now click the pencil button and I'll scroll down and inside the card component, let's delete line 32, which adds this text because in our application, it doesn't really do much. It just adds text to the card which is kind of ugly. So delete this line and scroll to the bottom and I'll click commit changes and I'll go back to Versal. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that it'll automatically detect the changes. And now it's basically applying the changes and redeploying. And now if you refresh, now the text is gone. And that basically wraps up front end development with React and Next.js. Now with this new knowledge, you should try to build your own applications and basically experiment and try many different things out. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to write resumes. And then we're going to jump straight into algorithms and data structures. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.